hello i welcome you to my revit tutorial master class this training is for architects civil engineer builders and basically people that are in the construction industry in this training i'm going to be taking you through step by step on how you can model a building using revit architecture or how you can produce a complete working drawing using Revit architecture. You know, a lot of us are used to the use of AutoCAD. Revit and AutoCAD are similar, but they are different. Revit is BIM, that is B-I-M, Building Information Modeling Software. I'm going to be explaining that into detail. In AutoCAD, we draw lines, but in Revit, we do not only draw lines, we create real walls, real doors, real windows, roofs. There are different versions of Revit. The one I'm using now is version 2017. It doesn't matter the version you have in your own computer. If you have a basic knowledge of Revit, you can use any version. If you have installed your Revit for the first time, you are not going to be seeing all these. These are the projects I've worked on before, and that is how it appears. These ones are families. Families are things like doors, windows, wardrobe, all those things that we can just place into our buildings if i want to open a new file now i'm simply going to click on new and it depends on the template i want to select i'm going to click on this drop down and select architectural template and click ok and it is going to open a new file there is something you are seeing on this side here. This is called Project Browser. In your own, it may not be here because I deliberately dock it to this side because that is what is convenient for me. In your own, you are going to be seeing it under these properties. You will see it here. So let it not get you confused about that. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to start designing. If I want to place a wall, I will simply go and select wall from the architectural tab. I will select wall and I am going to be drawing. If I click and move, you see that you can see wall. I go to the right, I click and I can close it and if you look at it, this is a realistic wall. In AutoCAD, what we do is we simply draw line to represent our walls. If you are in AutoCAD, let me delete this one. If you are using AutoCAD, what you need to do is you need to draw a, a line and you draw the second one to represent your wall. But in Revit, you simply pick wall and you, you just draw and here you go, you have your complete wall. And this wall if you view it in 3d you see that it is a realistic wall i can decide to put it in a color mode if i select this place i can take it to shaded you can see it's a realistic wall so if i want to place my door for instance i will simply go to the door and select the type of door I want to place and simply click 
and here is my door as simple as that if i want to place a window for instance i will simply go to the window and select the type of window i want to place and here is my window in autocad for you to place a window you need you need lines to draw it and these windows that have placed now if i see it in 3d you see that it is a real window it is a realistic windows and doors so this is what makes revit bim that is building information modeling software so if for instance i want to move the position of this door if i move it you see that it has been moved in the 3d as well if i move it back it see it has been updated in the 3d so whatever i do here will affect the 3d as well if i go to the 3d and delete it it's going to be deleted from the plan let me undo that if i delete it on the plan it's going to be deleted in the 3d so it is quite different from autocad it makes your work faster at the end when you are done with your modeling you can render it and it is going to look like a realistic building like this in this training i am going to be taking you step by step until you can master all these tools that you can use to model something like this this time will be too small for me to give you everything see all these tools you need to master them and this time will be too small for me to do all that if you want to learn more on how to use revit architecture to model a building and to also use it to produce a complete working drawing you don't need autocad to produce a complete working drawing so i will be taking you step by step i have already created that training and it is a video training like i'm doing now similar to what i'm doing now so all you need to do to gain access to that video is to click on the link below or above this video and you will gain access to this tutorial thank you for watching this video and see you there bye